This looks like the normal Fiorentina team. However, there is one difference. Rui Costa played a lot of his career here, so he's back. And here's the Barcelona team with loads of icons. Three lying on the bench because they don't all fit. We're going to throw them all into one mega tournament and see who can come out as the best all-time team ever. As you can see, the Barcelona team's on the left and the Liverpool team's on the right. Two completely stacked teams. Oh, a draw. Okay, I suppose that's about right. All these teams are currently in a group stage and whoever gets through goes into a knockout tournament, just like the Champions League. Some of the teams that are in this experiment are really weird like because these two players played the majority of their games at this club it qualifies them for this experiment but they do have to go against Ajax who have Cruyff, Rijkaard, Lippmann and oh my god they won unbelievably Dinamo Kiev qualify for this experiment because Lev Yashin played for Dinamo Moscow and I mean it's the closest thing I could really do I mean they might not concede but they probably won't score either I mean, they have to play against Bayern Munich can Dinamo Kiev beat the Avengers <laughs> no they can't okay and what is comfortably the best team of all Real Madrid is Ronaldo Zidane, Puskas. This team is completely absurd. Look at this bench. What? And because there's only 29 clubs that the Icons have played for, I did have to put three filler clubs in, so I'm gonna have to let Drada get spanked. This is a bit of a weird one. So, Jairzinho has played for Marseille, but it's not his most played for club. That would be over in Brazil, but since they're not in FIFA, I had to put him onto Marseille. So, they're in this now. And they play against Galatasaray, who have Hadji. And that's it. Marseille win 3-1, apparently. Jairzinho scores two, and Hadji scores one. Jesus, these icons are amazing. It's Davor Shuker against the university team. Can he win? No. Oh my god. Arsenal's a really fun one. We get Perez, Henri, Bergkamp again. We also get Vieira, Sol Campbell. Controversial, I know. But we also have Van Persie and Wright just sitting on the bench. And they have to play against Boca Juniors, who have Raquel May. And that's... It. They have nothing else. Oh my god, it's only 3-1. Here's both the Chelsea team and the Manchester United team, and they're both completely stacked. These teams are insane, and they have to play against each other right now. At Stamford Bridge, under the lights, Manchester United win 3-1. Kind of now with a hat-trick. Look at this Milan team. It's completely icons, apart from Manjana and Nets, and they have to go against this Montpellier team who literally have Laurent Blanc. We'll put him at centre-back to spare him his blushes. And Milan won convincingly. Look at that. Drogba in the Chelsea jersey and Henri in the Arsenal jersey. Doesn't that look so cool? Let me sim through all these games and I'll get back to you when the group stage is over. Here are the teams that went through. West Ham and Newcastle, that's just Bobby Moore and Alan Shearer. Group B, on the other hand, sees Roma top it and Milan come second. Group C, Barcelona go through, no surprise there, and Juventus also go through because they're completely stacked as well, but Liverpool and Inter both go out. Liverpool have a lot of icons, and so do Inter. Bayern Munich go through, half their team are icons, it makes sense, and Dinamo Kiev go through. Lev Yashin knocks out Johan Cruyff's Ajax. Group E, no shocks. Group F, you Sabio crashes out in fourth. Somehow Finn Harps finished above Benfica. Group G, Celtic and UCD got through. UCD got through. <laughs> UCD got through! They were supposed to be there to get zero points. And then Group H, Chelsea come bottom despite their stacked team. Arsenal come first, Man United come second. It means the round of 16 ties are drawn. Real Madrid with R9, Puskas, Zidane, it's just a, a ridiculous team against Manchester United, who is just another demigod. But some of the teams left still only have one icon, like Galatasaray, Dinamo Kiev. Celtic make it to the round of 16. They have to play against AC Milan, which is going to be very interesting because Celtic have Henrik Larsson and Milan have the entire multiverse. This is ridiculous. And here are the two teams. They're both completely stacked. This game is going to be fascinating. Let's quick sim. Who's going to win? Real Madrid win 1 0. Puskas gets the goal. Can Dinamo Kiev keep up their magical run up to this point? Is there anything else they can do? They win on penalties. Oh my goodness, they're through. Lev Yashin wins a penalty shootout. Of course he does. West Ham and Bobby Moore versus Galatasaray and Georgia Haji. Galatasaray in extra time. Oh my goodness. Wow, what a game. Rashika with the goal in the 116th minute. Roma versus Juventus and Roma win on penalties. Surely, right? Yeah, okay. And here's one of the more fascinating ties. It's Celtic, Henrik Larsson, versus Milan, Hullet, Van Basten, Maldini, Baresi, Nesta, who I have to play at right back to fit him in, and they win 2-1, Kaká with the brace, a massive amount of icons versus Alan Shearer, and only Alan Shearer, can he win? No. Oh my goodness, Bayern are out. Lothar Matthäus, Jörg Müller, Miroslav Klose, Bastian Schweinsteiger, Michael Balak, Philip Lamb as well, all gone. Here we go. Oh my goodness, okay. A lot to dissect. Real Madrid have Dinamo, Kiev. Lev Yassin might be able to put on a stormer, I don't know. Arsenal Milan is a clash of titans. Both of them are basically majority icon teams. And then Barcelona versus AS Monaco. I mean, Monaco beat Bayern Munich, so it could beat anyone. Real Madrid versus Dinamo, Kiev. 
It's 4 3 on penalties. Oh, wow. Lev Yashin loses a penalty shootout. Dinamo went 3 1 up on penalties and still lost. Oh, my God. They clawed it back. Puskas missed. Ronaldo missed. Roberto Carlos missed, but it didn't matter. And now it's Galatasaray versus Roma. One icon versus another icon. One of them's going to be in the semi final and it's going to be Galatasaray. They're still in this competition somehow. I have no idea how they made it this far. Georgia Haji, who nobody really uses in FIFA. This is such a big game. I have to watch it. All time Arsenal team versus an all time AC Milan team. Both of them are completely stacked. Place it to Henri! Thierry Henri with the first goal of the game. It's early doors still, but wow, what a start for Arsenal. It's so dumb. Arsenal are through. They've made it two. Beautiful move. Henri in behind again. It's three. I'm just going to sim the rest of this game. I'm pretty sure it's over. It's 4-0 to Arsenal. A whitewash. And one of the strongest teams in the tournaments are out. They're gone. And here we have it. The final game of the quarterfinals. Let's just sim it. Come on, Barcelona are probably going to win, right? <laughs> oh, barely. Oh my God. 2-1. Here we go. Real Madrid have Galatasaray. Galatasaray only have Haji. Real Madrid have literally everyone. Arsenal, on the other hand, have Barcelona. Biggest game of the video by a long way. Galatasaray have to win, and so do Real Madrid. That's how some final works. And Galatasaray... Wait, Galatasaray won? Oh my god. Oh my god. Did you see that Real Madrid team? Did you see it? If you didn't see it, this is it. This is the Real Madrid team. That's the front three that were beaten by Hadji. This attack scored one goal against this defense. So Galatasaray are in the final. But don't forget, we need another finalist. It's Arsenal versus Barcelona. Let's see how it goes. And Barcelona win. Galatasaray versus Barcelona. How the hell did Galatasaray get this far? I have no idea. Well, they beat West Ham 4-3. Then they beat Roma 2-1. Then they beat Real Madrid 2-1. Barcelona, on the other hand, they beat Newcastle, Alan Shearer. Then they beat Monaco, Petit. And then they beat Arsenal. What is effectively the best team of all time versus George Hagi and his goons. Galatasaray versus Barcelona. Let's play a sim match. No, I can't play it as a match. FIFA's really dumb. And it's George Hagi immediately. Dries Mertens could save off the start. Galatasaray bringing energy into Dries Mertens. Mertens again. It's Dries Mertens. Oh my God. They have so much quality, but it doesn't matter. Galatasaray are all over them. Hey, they come through the middle. And it's in. Christos Stoichkov. To be honest, kind of against the run of play. Galatasaray have had all the ball. They've dominated this game. And to be honest, I can't believe they aren't winning. And immediately Galatasaray get on the front foot. Dries Mertens through the gap. Well covered off. Given away poorly by the Galatasaray defense. Can Barcelona make good on this chance? Yes, they can. It's Ronaldinho. And it's 2-1 to Barcelona. Hadji's on the ropes. Can he come back? Or is Barcelona going to win this? They score a third. Luis Figo. Now the entire front three for Barcelona have scored. Maybe they're going to start running away with this. Have Galatasaray finally cracked? Beautiful football by Galatasaray. Into a promising position. It's Haji. It's 3-2. George Haji pulls him back from the brink of death. Beautiful run. Beautiful run from Christo Stoichkov. It's 4-2 to Barcelona. And that might be it. And in the end, Barcelona have the best icons in all of FIFA. And if you enjoyed this experiment, then check out this video where I got the icons into League 2 and tried to take them the whole way to the Premier League title in four years. We won so many trophies. It was so much fun. Okay, thanks for watching.